Hello, welcome back to Gun, the playthrough, the movie, the game. Yes, we do want a 480p, thank you. Now, I never really realized the significance of the difference between 480i and 480p until... I started streaming some of these uh, GameCube games, or recording them too. Because, yep, there is a pretty considerable difference. Well, not like a huge, huge difference visually, but in terms of recording, there's a pretty big difference. It makes it a lot easier. All right. Ooh, I think the the menu background changed because we're at a different part of the story, probably. It's pretty cool. Let's continue where we left off. What was the last thing we did? Oh, they stuck me in Empire City. I'm trying to remember. I know we took out... Uh, Sheriff, that, this dude, Hoodoo Brown, and that's weird because he's wearing the hat, but in the cutscene he got his hat knocked off. Someone must have put it back on. We could do a, another job for the marshal well, before we uh, coach from Dodge. go to the main story. Should have been here by now. Ride their route, and see what's going on. It's a pretty limited open world, I guess. You mostly just have Dodge and Empire City, and then just some stuff in between. Badlands and... Mountains and stuff. But still at the time, I don't think there had really been anything like this. In terms of like the, the Western style. Yeah. Mixed with like open world. So it was a pretty cool game. No doubt about that. What does this trail lead to? I don't know if I've ever went this way. Might just be the farm. Yep, that's a farm. Probably do some more jobs for this dude too, actually. But we're already in the middle of one. I'll say if it is to ride a horse over train tracks. Might be a little hazardous. I don't know, I just got a, got the feeling. Hmm. What happened here? Greetings, mister. We're just taking a break in the shade. That's a little sketchy. Whoa! Let's put that weapon down. You might hurt yourself. Jesus, his scalp got blasted off. Alright, so they clearly got sabotaged. Not sabotage necessarily, but it's funny, I was kind of instinctively uh firing hitting the left and right triggers to like shoot the dual wields, but you don't have to do that, just the right triggers. There are so many bad guys in this area. So many bad guys. Hey, we did it. Talk to the real driver, okay. Ah, uh, this fella's hurt awful bad. We need to get him back to Dodge. Can you clear out them boulders on the road? There might still be some TNT up above them. Sure can. Just grab my horse. That's not my horse. Eh, it don't matter. Horse is a horse. 
course, of course. Wait, how do we get up there? Hmm. I mean, you guys could go around and take the route that I went. Hey, there's gold over there. Can you make that jump? I think you have to jump there with the horse. Let's see. Let's see if we can make this. Oh, we did it. That gold should be worth extra. Sweet. All right, now I need to get back. Oh. That's pretty awesome. See the... The horse controls feel really good in this game. I'm not sure which uh, debris we're trying to clear exactly. Oh, this? Just hoping to shoot it from here. Let's see if I can do it this time. Oh, eh, whatever. As long as we get the job done. Ouch, I died. Well, that wasn't very smart, was it? Okay. You know, the, the game's checkpoints are pretty... Pretty generous, though. Oh, the horses are all gone now, too. That sucks. Hey, Rex, what's up? get back without my horse. <laughs> At least it uh, still saved the gold that we grabbed. So let's go down the safe way. Even though I think I, I think I had like half my health and that's probably why I died last time when I jumped down. Is there a way to just like straight up put your weapons away? I'm not sure if there is. Hey Jace Machine, what's up? We just completed a mission. And I only jumped off a cliff and died one time. It's a new record. All right, I'm just checking this area out because I don't know if I've been here before. I also need to find a horse. Or else there's gonna be a long way back to town, I'll tell you that much. Ooh, what's up here? This area certainly looks different. Ah, oh, I need a horse to get over there. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Band attack, oh great. Messed with the wrong boy. Oh, that, that that was the only bandit. Hey, I got a horse now. If you if you'll calm down. Wait, please. Thank you. Sweet. Only here for like an hour. No problem. Stay as long as you can. It's so satisfying riding the horses in this game. I, that, that has to be one of the best uh, mechanics. I haven't actually played like Red Dead Redemption or anything like that, so I don't know how it is in there. I'm sure it's pretty good in that too. But I'm really surprised for how old this game is, how good the horse riding feels. I expected it to be a lot rougher. This is like an area I don't think I've really been to at all. There's some gold over there. Hmm. 
houses are blocked off. This area might be like part of the story that I'm, I am not really to yet. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Just doing some side stuff before uh, we continue the main story. Are these like... Oh, they're like coyotes. Indian trader. I don't know if we have enough money. How we'll may see. I serve you? Go Let's see here. Oh, we have a lot of money. I forgot I made a bunch of money last time and I didn't spend it on anything yet. Okay, sweet. Hmm. You know what? This sounds cool, sure. The thing is, I don't use the shotgun very often, so that's the only reason I haven't really updated this. Hatchet, I don't really use either. Arrows will fly extremely fast. Um, I think I'm going to save this for when I get to the other shopkeep. I, I tend to use my guns more. But maybe I'll, I'll be using the arrows more later, I'm not sure. I guess we'll, we might find out. Play Toy Story for the Genesis. TNT, sweet. It's funny I just find this stuff randomly laying around the wasteland. Well, it's not really a wasteland, it's just very deserty. Oh no, bandits, whatever will I do? They're so powerful, not. Nah. These, these bandits are pretty bad at being bandits. I have to say, whoa, what's in here? Let's check it out. Yep, gold. That already makes it worth it right there. What's that blue on the map mean? Was that the Indian trader and I didn't notice? Probably, yeah, it looks like it is. Is there gold behind that rock? That's so crazy. I probably passed by here a hundred times and I never seen that. Because I'm up here now. That's actually really smart design. Whether it was intentional or not, I feel like it was. Now I know there's gold, bam, right there around the, the native dude. Okay. Should I check up here a bit more first? Hmm. Whoa! Whoa, I'm getting attacked. That was self defense. It was coming right at us. I don't think I've seen one of those yet. So I think it's safe to say I haven't been to this area. I don't remember at least. I'm gonna get lost though. I guess the open world's a little, a little bigger than I uh, originally thought. It, it's still not huge, but it's 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 pretty cool. All right, let's try to get back to my horse. Is there a way to put these guns away? I don't know. So you could do that. Oh, down on the D-pad, okay. There isn't really a reason to, because I don't think people care when your guns are drawn. But it just looks weird when I, when I have a gun out and I'm like, just talking to someone. I was already like steering the horse before I got onto it, which was pretty cool. Okay, so the native dude. Wait, where was he? Over here? Yeah, right there. So the gold was like right around the corner. 
Oh, that's the hunter. That's the dude who gives me the hunting missions. And look at that gold. I like how it's just these huge piles of gold right out above ground and stuff. Like, people would just leave that. Hey, Kiko, what's up? That's funny because people get really care in Red Dead 2 if you have your guns out. They get really scared. Well, let's see. Does this dude get offended? Nope, he does not care at all. Look at this dude. He has no fear whatsoever. He's a badass. Every season, each brave must prove his worth. He must kill a great white buffalo, search the plains. They roam with their kin. All right, so he still wants me to find the uh, the great white buffalo. Which I think we ran into it last time I was playing, but I didn't have any arrows. Do I have arrows now? No, I still don't have arrows. That That's the one problem I have with this game is the... I'm not exactly sure how to fill up on certain types of ammo. I think you need to like find... Just find it, which is kind of weird. Cause here's a trader. It's not like you could buy arrows from him. I just upgraded them. Yeah, no, you could make them stronger, but you think you might have them laying around or something, right? It's really weird. I think the last time I found arrows. It was in a really weird spot. River Canyon. Might have been in one of these areas. I'm sure a gun expert will be like, oh, you're looking for, oh, wait, maybe this place has, let's see. That's a box. Wait. Rifle ammo. That's good, but we also want some bow and arrow ammo. We need some arrows so we can hunt that white buffalo. Hey Corel, what's up? Is there a game called Sword somewhere? If there isn't, someone should make it. Yeah, I'm not seeing any arrows up here. It's like you just have to know where to go, I guess. All right, let's let's get out of here. Gee, look at this! Like the horse riding is ridiculous. I love it. I really did not expect the horse riding to feel this good for for a game from like. 15 years ago. It's really good too. I feel like that in itself, if it wasn't as good as it was, it, it, the game would not be as good because you have to ride horses a lot to go between towns and stuff. See any arrows up here? Nope. Whoops, sorry buddy. Wait, what is that red thing on the map? See up there, there's like a red. Is it just because I aggravated one of the uh, the coyotes? All right, well, let's just head towards the, the next main mission. It's up here though. I get distracted too easily. This is why like real like proper open world games are like really huge. I just I just can't do them because I, I there's it just overwhelms me 
it, it gives you too much freedom. Wait a minute. Oh no! I didn't mean to fall off right there. I feel like this might have been where I found arrows, actually. Maybe? No. It, it was next to, like, a wall that had, like, some drawings on it, but I don't think it was this area. Man. Foiled again. Alright, well, here's the main mission, so... Look at this dude. He's all, all tied up on the floor. Denton, that you? Denton. What happened? Met with a mob of some of the more colorful citizens in town. What brings you back so soon, kid? Looking for an acquaintance. Oh, oh so that's why the town's been overrun. You know him? you hurry, you might catch him. He's leaving? You might say that. Luke Short and his boys are lynching him at the gallows. Didn't care much for the way he shuffled cards. Come on. Okay. We need to get to the top of that water tower. They have Sophie held up in a building and we can't get to him. You have to get Sophie. We should be able to hide and wait for him to bring him out. Son of a bitch. What, what, look, look how you can run these guys over with your horse, it's amazing. I love that. From back here, I might as well just... Wait. Why are you pointing that way? Okay, sure. Wait, where are we trying to go? Here? Oh. I didn't even realize there was a water tower here. Come on now. You don't got it. I like how his name's Soapy. Don't do that to old Soapy. Help me, please. I don't know, they're gonna hang him. Matt Soapy. Sharpshooter. Use All right. your sniper rifle to shoot the rope around his neck. Don't shoot till they pull that trap door open. The rope has to be tight and split. Hey! Get those guys off so It's not that fast of reloading. Come on. It actually takes a little while. Is that Soapy? He's getting away from me. I repair him. They're coming from behind Soapy. You ain't getting away from behind the gallery. These guys. They don't even realize that all their their dudes are just getting taken out. Hey. Damn, more. I don't have ammo. Soapy, get out of the- oh. Look at this dude, crawling like a rug rat. Rifleman, coming from the north. They're below us. Jesus. Boom! I love that you could throw a TNT. Is that everyone? 
Oh. I can see that dude. Come on. Oh! Blasted his head off. Who's shooting me? Damn. Damn it. Ah, oh, you know what? Oh, I can't shoot from that, that far with my handgun. It doesn't even let you. Oh no! Jesus, I almost died. Oh, they're gonna make me restart the mission. The dude who is hanging Soapy is angry. Soapy was killed, oh no! Alright, let's try this again. I think this is where the horses come in? Riflemen, coming from the north. Nope, They're okay, these guys. Use the old TNT technique. Wait, how did I mess it up? There we go. Damn, they survived that time. Is there another dude over there? Oh. Oh. Come on. There we go. He popped out for like a split second. Did you see that? Dude, the way that they fall off, like the animation is actually not bad. Very surprising. I blasted his arm off. Alright. How are we still in a pickle? What are you talking about? Wait, was I supposed to go down there? There goes Soapy. Okay, Sophie's safe. So now we just gotta kill all these dudes. Damn, where are they coming from? Yeah, uh... I know Mac can... Or, uh, John Mac. The game where you, like, play as the two cavemen. I think I did a J plays with that with Mike a long time ago. And then uh, the game froze near the end, so we didn't get to finish it. Get to the river. Oh, Soapy's getting killed, damn it. I thought he got away. All right, it'll probably start me off right there. No biggie. It even dropped me off down here, that's nice. Taking out everybody. Alright, come on, Soapy. Boom. Ferry operator. How big is this gang? Like, god damn they... Oof. There we go. Oh my god, there are a lot of them. Am I out of rifle ammo? God damn it. Get up to those rocks on the river bank. Just shoot that rope and let the river do the rest. 
Honestly, I like the rifle better than the sniper rifle because it still goes pretty far and it reloads a lot faster. What are you doing back here? Oh. Hey, we did it. This dude. Empire was my foundation. It was nothing but a piss hole for Mexicans. Until I put I can't say that. Where's the kid now? He was just in Dodge. Rumor is he rescued a safe cracker and fled north. He's going for the safe. Surely those renegades will retrieve it. Those traitors can't be trusted. You lost it. You go get it back. Now, go. Uh-oh. I'm on my way, sir. Dude, that, that's a good big bad. He looks pretty tough. He, he's got a big old eye patch. He's got a big old beard. Look at this gold. Save it, soap. If I didn't need you for something, I'd let him finish the job. Ah, you're choking me up. And what can I do for you? Need you to open a safe, buddy. My stock and trade. Where is it? Come on. An On empire. The River. Oh, never mind. That's Blackfeet country. And I hear they're not too fond of white men. Dude, why are you riding in circles? I believe this calls for an expletive. Hey, Bellis, what's up? Dude, what are you doing? He's just going in circles. Okay, sure. Whatever you say, buddy. So, if you watch the path, shout up if you see anyone. Can't get to the steamer wreck without showing ourselves to the fort. What's wrong with that? Don't want anyone to know we're here. Uh oh. Too late. Only two kinds of white men out here: soldiers and outlaws. And since I see no blue, who is you that? Must be running from trouble or looking to stir some up. Till I figure which, you'll be my guest. Now let's have your guns. Ah, don't let him take your guns away. You could take him. You usually take it like 50 minutes once, point blank. What's the big deal? He's got those Clint Eastwood eyes. They're all squinty. That's a fine rifle. How'd you come by it? Right from the cold, dead fingers of an Indian loving fool. Hmm. Oh my god. These guys. Sergeant Hollister. Son of a bitch who commanded the steamboat massacre. That's the guy who killed my pa. Here, let him in. But if I catch either of you trying to run, I'll slit you both wide open and make both strings of your guts. Damn, you're a sick dude. We're going down to the steamer. If anyone else approaches, take them out with their cannons. Let's go. Gruder's impatient. Holy shit, it's Reed. He must be after that safe too. Come on, let's get out of this hill. I can't get us out of this one, kid. We're gonna have to find some help. Oh, I should have upgraded my hatchet this whole time. Those ugly bastards will skin us alive if we're caught. We gotta be careful. 
Wish we had some help. Some of those braves might know a way out. All right, sounds good to me. Alright, so we gotta save the other natives. And then we'll work together. Make sure not to interfere with the large groups of soldiers. Gotcha. So basically, this is the Metal Gear Solid part of the game. Thank the spirits. That was easy. That guy spoke awfully clean English. The other guy's all like speaking his native tongue, and then this guy. Thank you. Thank the spirits. I'm in your debt. That wasn't too tough. Kisima needs Topa. Kitama must need Sin. Anoka. Kita Samud. So, Kitakenes, Saki Zipa, Anitsi. All right, let's do this. To be Kiakensi, Koma, Motopa. Guards are coming. It's not safe to leave yet. Dumbass slackers, you probably ain't finished. Jeez, they had all day. Wait. Stay here and watch the door. Make sure none of the prisoners get out. Yes, sir. Remove the guard at the gate, so we can make our way out. <laughs> These guys are so dumb. I found him, sir. Now, follow in my footsteps. If any of us are seen, they will kill us all. Wait. Wait. Come on. Wait. Okay, let's move. Kill him silently. It's like he's Leon and I'm Ashley. From Resident Evil 4. We must go now. Stay close. Good thing I already found out how to execute people before this mission. What was that? Wait. Better check it out. Now, follow in my footsteps. This is like the easiest, uh, well I don't want to speak too soon, but... So far, like, for a sneak mission, because they actually tell you exactly what to do. Like, do I just wait for you now, or...? Kill the guard! Oh. And wait for us inside. Well, there he is! Wait for us, inside. Wait! How many scares you got so Now kill the enemy at the exit. We're just slaughtering them all. One by one. They're gonna need all those caskets in a second. Get him! Kill the peen guard. Shoot him! There! The passage for their garbage is our way out. Make certain it is safe. He's right there. Ah, give me a sec to pick the lock. Come on, Soapy, you could do it. <laughs> Music to my ears. Now I believe a hasty departure is in order. This cave leads to a place beyond the front of the fort. Step lightly and follow me out. We have gold. This cave since our people gold. First came to They're like, be very quiet and and I just start Good spirits, picking well, away at gold. For they have kept it hidden from the white devils. We're almost out of here. 
From here on, we must not be seen or heard. Fallen scout. Take up his bow and quiver. There's a bow. There we go. Take a look at these guns. Where'd you get them? Got them off that guy. They call stupid around early. <laughs> well, aren't you lucky? Now I gotta get back to my post. That guy's got my guns. How dare you? Use the bow to kill him. Oh, your aim is true. Yes, we got my guns back. It's funny how the game's called Gun, but I'm using a bow and arrow. Everything about that one. Now I shouldn't have to be sneaking around, right? Because I got all my guns. Whoops. There we go. Get a horse to break through the barricade. Think got that upgrade. A little bit closer. Soapy. Wait, did I fell something? What? Maybe I wasn't supposed to do that. Use your bow to clear all enemies. Get a horse to break through the barricade. I guess because I missed that guard, I didn't kill him with the bow and arrow. This dude. I think that's all of them now. Oh, that one more, one more guy. Are there bows down here? Shotgun. Now we gotta wait for Soapy. I mean, that was the only guard, so the fact that I killed him with the horse should have been fine, but... Alright. Are you guys ready for a revolution? Our village lies ahead, down this road. Right on. We will meet you there. Alright, here we go. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> it opened pretty easily. I didn't really slide into it very hard. There's someone behind? Uh-oh. hope I'm going the right way. Jesus! Oh my god, my aim is terrible. There are so many... Whoops! I freaking crashed into Soapy's horse. My bad. 
Sometimes I have a hard time telling who the who the enemies are. Oh, my horse. Hey, we did it. And we got a new bow and arrow. Oh, it's a fire bow. That's pretty sick. What's he saying now? He's telling a story of how I earned this necklace. Uh, it was a summer a dozen years ago now. One morning I left camp to hunt on my own. I was skinning a small buck when a mountain lion attacked me from behind. Cat's claws peeled me like an apple before I managed to slit his throat. Ned found me, stitched me back together as best he could. For a week, I hovered near death until a Blackfoot shaman brought me out of it. Ned said I come out of it different. Said I moved and stalked like a cougar now. So you owe the Blackfeet your life? I know. Mm, backstory. There is a way to make you great again. Destroy the fort and the men inside it. Destroy them first, then the fort will be vulnerable. I know how this can be done. Get to the canoes by the river. Oh man. Whoa, look at me. I'm one of the boys. Jesus. I am taking heavy damage. I need to take cover a lot better than I am. Good lord. Over here. Oh my god. Where'd that come from? Can't even see the dude try to kill him. I need to use my my rifle. I'm sorry, guys. I am going to die. I'm all out of booze. Gold. Gold. The white man has gone crazy. I have very little health. I gotta be careful. Oh, it really sucks your handguns can only shoot so far. Dude back there? There we go. Let's 
game reminds me of Turok. Uh, I could kind of see that. I didn't play a whole lot of Turok. My friend had one for the N64. I played a little bit of. Did we make it? I wonder how things are going down there. Yeah, they need to hurry up. Cause it sounds like there's a battle going on. We must fight Jesus, that was not a great idea, probably. Gotta be some alcohol around here somewhere. So I could heal up. Form up. Rifle ammo, that'll help too. I went in this house. I'm literally one shot away. Where's the rest of them? Any booze in here? Oh god. That big dude took like three shots. <sighs> A little too far. Might have to use a sniper. Why is it? There we go. That's booze. Oh, I need the booze. Oh. I need that booze. As soon as he gets up. There we go. We get that booze. Oh, oh we got it. We got it. And there's some more. Nice. Is there another dude around here? Jesus. Oh, boy. God, this is a massacre. Oh, oh my God, no! Sorry, sorry, buddy. I, I panic. We need to get inside the tower. Inside the tower, got it. Jesus. So do we just go and? Oh, that's not the tower. I like how his name is Fights at Dawn. That's a pretty cool name. Use a cannon to blow up four bunkers. Okay. There's one. Oh, that guy exploded. Take out some of these guys too while we're at it. Are those the natives? Whoops. I'm dumb. Oh, I went the wrong way, I think.
Oh, was I supposed to be using this? I wasn't supposed to get out of here, was I? Well, thank you. Uh, I've only played the first Silent Hill game. My friend had that for the PS1, and I actually did play through it. And I, I enjoyed it too. It was pretty cool. Because besides that, I only really had a... Uh... Get to the third cannon. There's a third cannon? Was I supposed to be moving to a different cannon? So confused. Oh, boy. I'm going to blow these up in advance so I don't... Uh... get killed by them. Uh, Resident Evil 1 for GameCube, the remake, is probably one of my favorite classic survival horror games. I also liked Code Veronica for the Dreamcast. Uh, the first Silent Hill game was cool though. I, I, I should definitely try more of them when I get the chance. I just haven't really had the chance. Well, I don't really own the systems because I don't have a PS2. Jesus, they're killing all my guys. Stop. Where's the cannon? Oh, up here. Okay, you guys take care of them and I'll, uh... Shoot cannon inside ammo dome. Oh, there we go. We're using their own cannons against them. It's pretty savage. Okay. some more health. I really need that because I'm in the red again. Can I grab it? Oh! Yes! Boom. It's really satisfying shooting these guys. I gotta say, the controls are pretty good in this. It feels good. The gameplay is very tight. Like, you wouldn't expect... Well, because the Tony, Hawk, the Tony Hawk Pro Skater games feel pretty good, too. Like, the skateboarding, but you wouldn't think they'd be able to just transition to a an FPS game like this. They might have done another one, like, a long time ago before Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. But after doing all those Tony Hawk games, and then suddenly they come here... It's like, they did a pretty good job. They probably didn't even have, like, the biggest budget, either. Okay, so I need to use dynamite. Oh, I need to throw this. It didn't work. Uh-oh. Yeah, I said use the dynamite. I got that. Oh no! Quick draw, okay. Hey Fack, what's up? Um, I'm a bit trepidatious to hop into any of the other RE games after enjoying the RE2 remake so much. Worried they won't scratch that same itch. Well, they're, they're very, very different. Especially the, the classic survival horror games. It's very much a preference type of thing because some people really enjoy them and some a, a lot of people don't because the it, it just 
controls a certain way and it plays a certain way that a lot of people just doesn't work for them. I like it a lot. I like I, I like the tank controls. A lot of people see tank controls as being outdated or flawed, but I don't think it's necessarily outdated or flawed. I think it's just a way of controlling a game. You know, whatever... Um, oh, I see the cannon has a health bar. Like, there are restrictions and stuff, but it, it's kind of by design. Even like the way that the camera... Oh, I'm supposed to be using TNT. Where's the TNT at? I like picked up Molotovs by accident. Dynamite downstairs. Okay, thank you, game. But, uh... The reason why tank controls were even a thing is because of the fixed cameras angles and the way that like when you go into each room the camera will be like facing a different direction or set up a certain way which I think is really awesome because each room has a very distinct look and feel to it. Like you might enter from like the foreground, you might enter from like way in the back, like everything has its own side to it. So that's why tank controls are a thing because if you're holding forward which is is go and that can like you walk forward and it's only the camera angle changes in a different area you could still keep walking forward it's not going to suddenly move you around um tank controls are one of those things that are hard to get right it has to be just the right kind of hindrance without getting so frustrating as to prevent you from doing what you want to do yeah, I think that's the reason why Resident Evil does it right, because you can get good with the tank controls, like an RE1 for instance. You can get to where you're running around the zombies just fine and you're avoiding them. It's just something you need to learn. And a lot of people have that trouble because they're not used to tank controls, which totally makes sense. Um, but yeah, definitely others... It can also easily be messed up as well. I think a lot of it has to do with the level design too. Like if you're using tank controls and then it's not very clear what you're allowed to run around or what like may be blocking your path, that could definitely be frustrating. Hollister must not live. I think I'll probably stream RE1 eventually. I have it for GameCube. For some reason, I feel like I'd rather play that than the uh, the Steam version, even though that's in HD. I've just really been on a GameCube kick lately. GameCube slash Wii kick. I can smell you from Boss here. battle time. Know your enemy, boy. <laughs> Who you calling boy? I'm a full-grown man. Yeah, you think you've got a chance. Jesus. Okay, I need to be a lot smarter about this. Jesus. Oh, that's right, you can roll. Forgot about that. This guy is too damn good. I if I can just keep rolling and shooting. Nope, not really. Are you, are you dudes gonna help or are you just gonna stand back there? Like, damn. Alright. Oh, man. This boss is tough, he actively chases you. Where is he even shooting at me from? Where are you, dude? I don't know how he was even hitting me. Hey, Maxi, what's up? Uh, I can't blame you, the GameCube's real good. I just love the GameCube controller, it feels really, really good. It's, it might be, it's definitely one of my favorite controllers. I have never heard of Monkey King. I'm guessing it's based on that old uh, Asian folklore about the Monkey King. No use hiding. All right, let's try this again. I wonder if he's weak against bow, no bow and arrow. Boy. <laughs> let's see. Bow.
I don't know what's going on over there. Damn, it's hard to even hit him with it. I don't think he's weak against bow and arrow. Maybe I should just... Damn, this guy is just tough. There's no way up around that. I think you just need to like slowly take your shots and be careful. How old is this game? I think it came out in 2005. If you're looking for weird and fun GameCube games to play, I recommend keeping an eye out for Chibi Robo if you ever see it going for a good price. I have wanted to play that game. It, it seemed interesting. I haven't really been actively looking for it, but I could try to keep an eye out. Know your enemy, boy. Stick to the rifle. I should have like TNT and stuff too, don't I? Unless I used them all. What's this up here? Just ammo? The sniper rifle ammo? Jesus. Why are you not rolling? Oh, you need to have your gun out to roll. That's kind of weird. You know what's funny? You think I would remember this boss fight for how tough this guy is, but I do not remember this at all. Uh, Neversoft made this game. The dudes who did like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, and then they did some of the later uh, Guitar Hero games. They just randomly decided to do this game, like in the middle of all the Tony Hawk games. Okay, he throws a ton of dynamite. I don't have any dynamite, fortunately. You can't hide forever, little man. You think you've got a chance. Damn. So hard to avoid this dude. Moving. I think you just have to be really vigilant. Oh! not doing good trades. Damn, he's just like... I need to figure out a different strategy here, because clearly this ain't working. Alright. So they, they give me rifle sniper ammo up there, so are they trying to tell me something about that? Let's see, sniper rifle. I don't have any... Okay. Well, let's go up and grab it. Maybe we're supposed to use that. Maybe we need to go somewhere else. Oh, that's where he is. And he killed me instantly. He had a freaking Civil War 
sword, bayonet, bassinet, whatever it's called. Smell you from here. Know your enemy, boy. <laughs> Man, they don't even save your sniper rifle ammo that you grab. It's messed up. Okay. I actually did a review on the Super Nintendo Aladdin game. That was one of my childhood games. Alright. Because the thing is, dude, this dude can blast you from far away like most people don't. But this dude's got a really good shot. And then he's actively getting closer to you. He's not just going to stay back there either. That's the tough part. Like, he's just slowly getting closer. It's actually kind of terrifying. Damn. You really think I would have remembered no this dude being so tough? I can smell you from here. Know your enemy, boy. <laughs> I think you've got a chance. Come out. Blast you out. Why is my okay? This is a good spot, apparently. Maybe I could back up and then. I keep moving around. Oh my god, I think I found a good cheese spot. Kind of. Wait. Oh, we found a good cheese spot. I got really lucky there. Dude, he's gonna freaking take himself out just to kill me. It's horrible. Alright. This dude's crazy. It's like a Samurai Jack villain. Die! Oh, is he just about to, like, blow up? Oh my god! Christ! I don't know if that's how I was supposed to do that, but that is such a cold-blooded line, but man. You know, shooting him in the head might have actually um, been stunning him, so that probably was helping. You excited for the upcoming Samurai Jack game? Actually, I am interested in that for sure, because I'm a big Samurai Jack fan. Um, I was thinking of checking out the the Samurai Jack game that was on GameCube before that, just to like, because I never played it before, and it might be an interesting game to check out. I might even do a review on it, we'll see. But, uh, I am interested in the new game coming out. Because the final season was, was really, really cool. The only issue I had with the final season of Samurai Jack is that the final... The finale felt a little rushed. I wish they would have had a, like maybe like a couple more episodes to to do all that. Besides that, I enjoyed it a lot. All right. Hollister is dead. Find the safe. Wow, we've sort of been in this like good thing we did some side missions at the start because we've been just on track to just keep keep doing all the main story missions like we haven't really had a chance to take a break oh my god these guys aren't playing around give me your horse oh no the horse There's a lot of booze laying around here, conveniently. Oh no. I can see why there's booze laying around. Jesus, where are you even, where? 
Where are you? Oh, I need to pay attention to the map more. That'd probably help. Damn, I wish you could take their horses, but they keep getting like... They keep crashing. There we go. Give me that horse. There we go. Oh. Ah, that didn't last very long, did it? Where is this dude coming from? They're like, sh it's like they're shooting me through the rocks or something. Still alive. Jeez. That was rough. Look around real quick for uh, supplies. Yeah, Samurai Jack's a great show. Definitely one of my, my favorite shows. What were we doing now? Oh, we were looking for the safe. Right. Is that it? Oh, that's it. They were supposed to do a Samurai Jack movie to wrap things up for years and years and years and it just never went through. It was like stuck in development hell forever. Or purgatory, whatever. <laughs> Here, kid. You can have the arms. What's in there? What was in this safe that was so important? Oh, it's the cross. For saving me the trouble of trying to open that myself. Well, the piece of the cross. Now hand it over. Uh, got him. Run! Run? It's one dude. We just took out like 50 dudes on horses. Dude, we're taking out the evil priest now. Run him over. Look at him, like, shaking around. I'm just going straight out tank on this guy. Give me another horse, though. That'll be nice. Come right over here, buddy. This is cool, it's like a boss fight on, on horseback. Jesus. He's not trying to get away, is he? He's almost done. A couple more hits ought to do it. There we go, look at that. Ah, look at him. Ah, look at him. Ooh, cavalry sword. He's trying to get away. I don't think so, buddy. Ooh, 
savage. It's Spanish, 16th century. Writings in Latin. It's hmm. incomplete. Another piece must fit here. Interesting. I know where it is. Come on. Have I seen Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends? Of course I have. Uh, we're, we're probably getting close to the end because we just took out the the, item. the second to the too. final big bad guy. Put a price on that kid. That's the big bad guy right there. I don't there. care how much. I want every bounty hunter, every mercenary, every damn snake in the Western territories looking for that son of a bitch. No one is gonna stand in the way of my destiny. You understand? No one. Not the federal government, not the Apaches, and not some pissant kid with a six gun. He called me pissant. That's not very nice. I've seen the other half of this cross. The Apache chief has it. That's right. If I put the pieces together, then I can beat Magruder at his own game. I can't go through Dodge. Not after the hanging. I'll catch up to you later. Meet me at the Apache camp. All right, Soapy. I don't know why I went that way. Trail to dodge. All right. There's a nice little marker right there. It's just over here. Oh, this dude. We're going over the river sticks, guys. The horse riding looks so weird. Dude, it feels good though. I guess because they don't restrict you very much, so you could just kind of like go all over the place. It feels great. Like you could just boom. Speed up, go around, Whoa, jump over stuff. Like, look at this, it's ridiculous. Let's uh, let's do some side stuff before we head towards like the final boss guy. Last seen in Blackfoot territory. Approaching under cover of night is advised. The subject is damn near blind. Thirty dollars alive. That's good. That's a lot of money. We gotta get that thirty bucks. I didn't realize we were so close to the town. Horse riding in Red Dead 1 is similar, they ride fast as heck. Yeah, the fact it's unrealistic makes it fun. Yeah, because when I first started playing this, I assumed that the horse riding was going to be kind of restricted and you were going to like if you bump into something, like, you get knocked off or stuff like that, but no, it's, like, actually really, really open, and it makes it feel good. Like, boom, look at that. Look at that. It's dumped over, like, a rock and a buffalo. Kill or subdue. Right. Where's the dude I need to get? It's not him. Him, not him, not him. Oh, there he is. Alright. I want to subdue him so I could get the 30 bucks. That's going to be kind of hard though because he's on a horse. Sorry, horse. There we go. Sweet. I got good at that.
do 30 bucks. I, I want to play Shadow of the Colossus. I haven't played it before either. Uh, I do want to try it sometime though. Fax says, I feel I prefer more arcadey, responsive horse controls in something like Shadow of the Colossus. It feels like you're fighting the horse just to get where you want to go. Well, I haven't played a lot of games with horse riding, so I think immediately what came to mind was like Ocarina Time when you're riding a horse, because it's very restrictive and like if you go near a, a cliff, like you just stop, stuff like that. So I guess that was just from my experience what I was expecting. And then boom, you get to this game and you're just jumping over rocks and stuff. It's pretty sweet. But um, it's not like every game has to be like that. If a game's horse mechanics are more realistic, that's fine. You know, it's just what they're going for. Where am I trying to go to? Oh, this way. Wait, I'm actually not sure if I'm going the right way. This uh, looks weird. Oof! Okay, that's black for camp. But we want to head back towards Dodge. Would that be this way? Yes, okay, cool. And then you have to think the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater team made this. So I don't know if that's like, you know, to be expected that a fast controlling vehicle would feel good or if it's like surprising because it's just completely different from skateboarding. Uh, in Breath of the Wild, horses will automatically follow roads, so that's nice, but they can't climb cliffs, so I almost never use them. Huh. There's another wanted poster. Well, let's see what upgrades there are, and if we actually need our want more money to get something. Just received a new shipment of goods. Have a look. All right, scalping knife. It's funny, they still haven't explained what scalping does exactly, like why you would want that. Reload, that's nice. We have a lot of money. Like a hundred plus dollars back then, you were like loaded. That'll be good, extra health. I don't really use the shotgun like at all. That's the only reason I haven't been getting that upgrade. Uh, I guess I'll just get this. And sure. Sweet. Now I'm imagining a horse climbing a cliff like a spider. Yeah. Well, you know, mountain goats apparently get pretty damn close to like that where they can just climb mountains like almost straight up vertical mountains it's pretty crazy one the bandit brothers james booth charged with robbery james bob booth for helping james bob escape. booth bob is to be brought in for trial james should be shot on sight location unknown location unknown That's a very specific mission for 20 bucks. It's like, you have to kill one of them and then bring the other one in. That should be worth more than 20, in my opinion. So James dead, Bob alive.
Well, let's kill James first of all. Get him out of the way. Okay, he's dead. Alright, we did it. Sweet. Alright, um, we could probably go to the next story mission now. I just want to do a couple more side things. Like, look at this. Whoa. This is an all terrain horse right here, let me tell you. The only thing is if uh, there's like a tunnel that's too small. Whoa, okay. Oh boy. I, I could tell when I was in midair that I made a mistake there. I never really played much of the Lego games. They always seem like they're fun. It's kind of a funny concept, but I guess it makes sense. Legos are really popular. And there's like Lego sets of everything, so... Alright, how the hell do we get out of here again? It's weird that they respond to me all the way back here. Like, I was nowhere near this spot. I guess this was the last place I was for the story, so maybe that's why. Okay, so that's that. Whoa. Oh, I'm supposed to meet him at the Apache camp, so maybe I'm supposed to go this way. But this is the Blackfoot, so... Okay. Well, I'll check it out real quick. Because this doesn't seem right. Hollis yeah, this is Hollister's for it. That's not even the Yeah, I need to I need to get out of this area. Oh yeah, yeah, right here. It's right next to it. I just was skipping over it. Be careful not to kill myself again. Oh, you can't get on the horse while the ferry's going. I was gonna like try to make the jump, but it was probably for the best, but I didn't. I mean, there's some places that they won't let you take the horse, like if water's too deep. But that that works out for me. Wait, what does Pat Denton have to say? Well, I'll make you a deputy if you're willing to help me bring some peace to Dodge. Uh, I'll, I'll go to the main stuff. I haven't played the, the uh, South Park RPG games yet. I've heard they're really good. I did used to have the South Park game for the N64. It's like an FPS. So you like throw snowballs and stuff. And I remember it being really, really hard, but it was like, it, it was a kind of a fun game. Like a lot of people don't like it. It probably isn't the best, but I remember it being fun. That's where I killed myself last time, so I just need to 
take the long way. Be safe. Although it feels like I'm going backwards and now. Yeah, this is not the right way. Okay. I stand with Pat Denton. <laughs> Look, I could have, you know, did some of his side missions and did his job for him to protect the town. Or, you know what, I could survive this drop. See, the problem is I jumped off the cliff. And plus I must have had missing health already. There's Soapy. Good old Soapy. Oh, Jesus. Pardon me. Jeez, what happened here? Oh, they're all burnt. Let's go. It's horrible. You gonna leave them like that? They've been left as a warning. Cut them down, they might put us there instead. I think we might uh -oh. end up there anyway. Soapy looks familiar. I don't know what it is. She cut that it is a Jean. I don't want. She need be ca. I seek something you possess. Dawa chao ka. I don't understand. What are these things? Yeah, actually I should have saved because I haven't saved yet. So thanks for reminding me. Get inside. This is not an auto-saving game. <laughs> Wife? That's her official name. Dude, it's the big bad. I read that people were really mad about the portrayal of Indians in this game. Oh, I, I have no idea. It's Ned. I don't know how you could repay, repay your debt. Take my baby brother away from me. That was me. I'm that kid. Is he watching the cutscene with us? Hey, wait a minute. Hey, that's me. I understand now. Sadie, the stolen cross meeting on the steamer. Ned was staging his revenge after all those years. He was trying to make things right. Magruder caught on. I came here to unite the pieces of this cross. I never expected all this. Jesus. Dude, the pieces of the cross. It was on his hatchet. That's sick. There's a Latin phrase on each arm. It looks like some kind of map to his zuki at a he chegosh ah that's a map dude is this like raiders of the lost ark i mean all the characters in this game are portrayed as like pretty violent and crazy and stuff it, it's it's a really violent world But it's, it's kind of cool that you're not just enemies with the natives, that you actually, like, work together with them. And I think we just learned that, uh, Cole, the main character, is, like, I don't know if he's, like, half-native or what it is, but he was, like, born to them, and then Ned became his adoptive father. Where am I? Oh, okay. thought I was stuck on a cliff for a second.
Follow me. We will meet my warriors. Then I will show you the sight. Okay. One eye's lust to find Kivira has brought endless suffering to my people. Your father and mine learned much from each other. Their kinship was honored by our people. remain of your family's house. It was there that one eye slew your father. They call him one they eye. Escort us through the badlands. Oh. These men are my most trusted. That was our home. They got us surrounded. Jesus. the cross leads to I hope it's something really cool like a hundred bucks that'd be real neat they look like, they look like confederate soldiers what happened Mission ally killed. Whoops. Alright. I need to take my rifle out. It's Magruder's militia! They're trying to stop us from using the cross! There we go, that's what I'm talking about, baby. They got us surrounded! That guy just vanished from existence. That's how powerful that, that shot was. Then you can switch right between the rifle and the, uh, the quick draw with your handguns. Are there any left? I don't see... Oh. Boom! Some of the animations on, like, when you hit enemies are really nice. Give me your horse. Oh! There we go. That wasn't so bad. I must tend to my brother. You will have to go on without us. The site lies at the top of the mountain north of the Piper Lake. Piper Lake. Kiko says the cross leads to an in-game ad for the Nintendo oh, DS. The characters are, are like, what is this thing? Let's get a move on, Cole. We got they no just find a Nintendo DS. It's like the 1800s. Wow. What is this magnificent device? Why, one time, I was forced to make a rather abrupt departure from the Big Wheel Hotel in St. Louis. I was emptying the coffee room of a particularly rich industrialist when Dude, what are you talking I was discovered about? by his mistress and let out a scream that would deafen a cannoneer. <laughs> yeah, no time this guy reminds me of, uh... Me no choice but to escape what's the, what's the dude? Walter Goggins? He was in The Hateful Eight. He was the, uh... The supposed sheriff guy. That's what Soapy reminds me of right now. He's just kind of Weasley, a Weasley Southern guy. You sure got a leaky mouth, so. Dismount horse. Alright, Soapy. Look at the way he walks. 
He has he has quite the gait, let me tell you. Walt and Goggins, there you go. I said Walter, I knew something was off there. Walter White Goggins. Dude, where, where are you leading me to here? It's kind of getting sketchy. Oh! Okay, sure. Loco Dynamite Bow. One of the most powerful weapons around. Looks like Magruder's already found it. It can't be that easy. He only had half the cross. Hmm. hmm. From God's altar. Hmm. Looks like twixt the tears of God. Dude. And the spires of heaven when the sun, sun and, moon and moon meet. Dusk. Behold his kingdom. There. They missed the mark. It's above the mine, not below. Dude. <laughs> That's pr that's pretty sick, actually. This story. Oh no, Soapy! He's like a fusion of like Steve Buscemi and Walton Goggins. That's what it is. If they did the fusion dance, it would create Soapy. Get to the bottom of the mountain. Let's get to the bottom of this. Oh boy, oh god, oh god. Jesus Christ. Good thing all those explosives were conveniently placed there. Oh god, explosives. Definitely Buscemi vibes from him. Oh no! You can't do this! Now are you gonna show me the location, or shall I continue? No way. Dutchie. Wait, wait! It's there! There! That's impossible. I've sunk shafts all over that sector. You gotta dig up, you damn fool! It's above you! Of course! <laughs> oh, of course he still shoots it. <laughs> Dutchie! Get me back to that mine. Then take a train to find the kid. And ask for this little sneak. Ah, uh, he bailed. Oh, oh, Jesus! We're fighting the entire Confederate army here. It's out of control. good measure. Hey, Christmas self, what's up? The, the entire Wu-Tang Clan. Sure. Whatever you say, buddy. Watch those barrels! Okay, uh... Catch him, get him! Uh... Move, move, move. 
Got him. Oh my god. Jesus, that'll... That took, like, my health down to the minimum. I should have healed faster. Watch those barrels. Good thing we got good checkpoints. That reminds me, though, I need to... I need to save. Did my hand just fall down after I hit the wall? There's, like, a surprising amount of animation detail in this game. Alright, let's save. So, I, before I forget. Just in case. Alright. Watch those barrels! Watch those barrels! That's it. Kaboom! There we go. Yeah, I was a little too close last time. Do I love the rifle? That has to be one of my favorite weapons in this game. Dude, Soapy's down there. He made it. Hill, many wounds, and his warriors are gathering with Clay Allison and his men. Tell him to meet me back here at dawn. Where are you going? You want your fingers back, don't you? <laughs> you want your fingers back? Dude, I don't think his fingers are coming back. It's not like they got cleanly chopped off, they got freaking blasted. We're gonna blow the whole town up. Jesus, I forgot I was riding a horse. Oh my god. Take out this guy, first of all. Can you die? Christ. Is this a joke? Oh, he's got a bunch of- Oh, it's Dutchy. It's like a boss fight, I don't even realize. I didn't see his health bar right there. There we go. Goodbye, Dutchy. Okay, there's like dudes shooting me right in front of me. Get more attention. Damn. I need another horse. That'll help too. Who's the other dude? Oh, there he is. He's hiding. Hello. All right. See, I'm hitting the sack. Good luck shooting the last boss TNT out the sky. All right, Jace Machine. Thanks for for watching. I appreciate it. When all along the lost city Have a good one. Head. I've got to beat that bastard to it. All right, here we go. See, it's funny because I do remember a little bit of the finale. Like I remembered we were, we were going into like a big mining shaft or something. So it's probably going to be pretty epic. The man out waiting in front of Magruder is mine, but. The doors are solid steel. I still don't know how we're getting in. You're riding on it. You better help me stoke this fire. Cause we're gonna need a lot more speed. Dude, what? You lost your damn mind, kid. <laughs> Welcome aboard the Kill Magruder Express. It's Jesus. Up, end of the line. The end of the line. Dude, just like the traveling Wilbury song, "End of the Line." That must be what he was referring to. <laughs> I was wondering 
do that. And then everyone died. I still like how the game's logo is on the front of the train. It's pretty cool. I will take that, thank you. <laughs> Jesus. Wait, am I supposed to... Okay. Sure. Last time we could mine with the cannon. Dude, it's like a, we're on the rails suddenly. I guess I gotta go move it. Oh. It's like a roller coaster ride. So we're gonna blow everything up. Alright, Rick's catch you later. Whoops! I almost died. Have a good one, buddy. That guy vanished. Jesus. There he goes. What's hitting me? Oh, these guys. Something's hitting me. Like constantly, and I don't know. Okay, I needed that. Damn. Is that not something up there? Yeah, I like how you just straight up delete people. <laughs> I am going to die. You know what, let me just... There we go. We're gonna blow the whole town up. I gotta push this uphill. Ooh, let's blow them all up. Whoops, that was not good timing. Oh no, I have no more health uh, healing. Whoops. Jesus. All right, at least they started us in here. Once again, the checkpoints are pretty nice in this game. That dude wasn't there before. Where, where, now suddenly I got these people helping me? Where were you guys last time? Did I just hear sna snake? Solid snake screaming in the background. Oh no! Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Gee, we just barely. Suddenly we're playing Donkey Kong over here. Got this. I'm sure, there won't be any bad guys. It'll blast us.
Oh my god. This is, uh, this is a tough one. Oh, they started us back here, too. I don't think there's any, like, is there any alcohol in here? Oh, there was. They were hiding it from us. Well, good thing I checked. That's gonna help us. A lot. Get out the way. I got the cannon. And I kind of know how to use it. See, sometimes I just feel like, screw the cannon, it's easier to kill them like that. I guess that's the point though, you're mostly just supposed to use it for groups and like, uh, destroying debris and stuff. talking about. Come on. Wait, did he just do the switch? Yeah, these guys are running ahead. They might as well get off and move the switch. What do I gotta do? It. I'm about to die again. Oh no 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 no! Jesus! Oh, there is a lot of booze down there. There is a lot of booze, and I need it badly. Oh god! Oh god! Please! 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 Stop! Damn it! Oh, I was so close. I shouldn't have went into quick draw mode. I was like, oh, it slows down time, I'll be safer. No. Alright, this is like the final mission though, so it's... Understandable, it's gonna be pretty tough. Never knew Jay was such an alcoholic. <laughs> That's the funny part, because I don't drink IRL, but in this game, that is how you live. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Ah, the only other thing is with the smoke, you can't see anything. I just wasted so much health right there. So when the dudes are shooting you through the smoke... Okay, maybe they'll pull the switch. Let's see. No. No, they're kind of useless. Maybe at that part I should just get off the cannon and try to get him with my rifle. Cause it's just... It's too hard to aim when they're really far away like that. Since there's no crosshair or anything. So far, so good. Take out those 
Why are you guys running ahead? See, I did it again where I couldn't see them and I was like, letting them blast me. Alright, we're doing a lot better now that we have a lot of uh, refills. I think here I'm just going to screw it, I'm going to use my rifle. Yeah, this is way better. That was the problem, I was supposed to take care of these guys first. That's going to be so much better. I got a bad feeling about this. Look at this dude, he's frozen midair. Wait, let's go back down there and get those health refills. Thank you. Oh yeah, baby. That's from dynamite, I'll take that too. Hey, we need you back in the cannon! I know. I was just grabbing a quick drink. No big deal. That was a good one. Oh god, more of these guys. I should probably just get off of here right now, shouldn't I? Yeah, just screw it. No. Yeah, that was so much better. What are you doing there, buddy? Get rid of that TNT. Jesus. Whoops. Okay, let's get off of here again. Turntable. Okay. Where's that? Turn that switch to unlock the turntable. Switch, switch. Uh Oh. Help me cover our allies while they spin the turntable. Sure. I'll get right on that. These guys are doing something. <laughs> okay. I think one of those guys is pretending to do work, but whatever. Whatever works. Oh, I'm out of rifle ammo? No! It's my favorite gun. Maybe that's some rifle ammo over there.
Yes. Wait, did I just switch to the sniper? Whoops. There we go. Not sure how that happened. Oh, are we ready? Okay, cool. Sweet. We're just moving along. Blast through that blockade. It's kind of weird how the cannons on the left side of the screen. As if you're left handed. Oh, did we do it? falling apart. Gotta get the heck out of here. Find Magruder. We're almost ready for our big final boss fight. Oh, whoa, look, it's like an old, like, like an Aztec city or something. What's been hiding here? What's here? The Magruder is so... Like... Obsessed. Oh, okay, I'm dead. And... Look at that, though. Like, the specific animation they had of him hitting the wall and then falling back. You wouldn't expect that detail. I gotta say. That's pretty impressive. Alright, this time I'm ready. This time I'm ready for this showdown. Where are they? I wasn't ready. There we go. I'm telling you, it's all about that rifle. It's all Lisa's fault. Yeah, this is a hype showdown. Whoa, how did they not die from that? It's because they're like tanks. Jesus. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. There are a lot of those guys. Wait, I have dynamite. I missed. Oh, that was a dead guy. That was kind of pointless. Come on. Pop out. Pop out again. Is that a shadow back there? It's like going through the wall. It's kind of weird. Come on, buddy. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's funny. It just completely gives them away. Oh, no. Jesus. You can't use dynamite, only I could do that. There we go, I need, I need some ammo though, I'm running low. On my precious rifle ammo. Ooh, that helps. Got some more dynamite. There we go. That's what we needed.
Wait, where was this other way? Oh, dead end. Okay. All right. This far north would probably be Mayan uh, or maybe some other Native American people. I, I can't remember what state. Oh, oh no, yeah, you're right. Because you're just saying like American in general. Um, yeah, I wasn't thinking about that. Well, the the artifact we found that brought us here was uh, Spanish, so it could be just be Spaniards, but... My whole life I've been searching for this. Has it been worth all the bloodshed? How can you ask a question like that? He has like knight's armor on. This guy's insane. Feasting on such Whoa! I don't see anything magnificent. Just a fat, one-eyed bastard whose greed has no boundary. <laughs> that sounds like Ned talking. No, this is Ned talking. Dude. Man, that's gotta be at least worth, uh, like, $20 worth of gold. Let's mine everything. Welcome to my domain, kid. And you're fine the rest of the place. Okay. The other dude was tough. This guy's probably gonna be crazy hard. Wait, wait, that's a good spot. I like how there's these little peaky hidey holes. Oh no, dynamite. No. Why is it not working? Oh. Okay, maybe you have to like use dynamite. Jesus, he throws a lot of that. But I don't have any quick draw left. That's gonna be a problem. I didn't realize I was doing no damage this whole time. Okay. Well. All right, we'll figure it out. Welcome to my domain, kid. Yeah, I don't. I really don't think you could hurt him with normal guns. Okay. Dynamite does do some, deal some damage. We know that he's not invincible. Welcome to my domain, kid. And you're Ran out of dynamite. You think headshots would work? This dude's invincible. This guy is not human. All right, we'll figure it out. Eventually. Jesus. All right. Is there any more dynamite in here? I'm not seeing any. Maybe you just have to shoot it before he throws it. Here, like sizzling. Nothing, huh? <sighs> like the, the I'm trying to like do the quick draw lock onto the dynamite, but it does does not lock onto it. 
Try it again. I sit. Welcome to my domain, kid. Well, because you literally learn that you can you can hit dynamite in midair, or like flaming arrows. Actually, I think that's what it was. So I feel like that's what I'm supposed to be doing. So I did that, but that doesn't really hurt him though. Oh, maybe the rocks fall on him. Yeah, it's one of those, the trope where the boss repeats the same thing over and over because you keep dying. Come out. I command. Are you going to... Jesus, I went through the wall! Good lord. You guys see that? Welcome to my domain. And you're... Oh. Should aim my dynamite a little better, probably. Your bullets can't harm me, buddy. That was not a bullet, that was dynamite. You're kidding me. Okay. God, they go so quick. Like if they went like straight up for a, just a little bit longer. I'm pretty sure the dynamite's working. Yeah, I know, I figure I'm supposed to hide, but I'm trying to also see if my dynamite could hurt him, but it, it's kind of hard to aim it at him unless I'm, I can see him. Okay, yeah, the dynamite does hurt him. Come out, you metal coward. Oh yeah, right, I'm out of dynamite. Okay. See, like, you, you don't even have time to... Like, when you're doing the quick draw, the dynamite's still flying up too quickly. You think there's geysers on the floor? Um... Oh, no. I don't have any problem with him being challenging. I'm just trying to figure out exactly what I'm supposed to be doing here. But if I don't see him, I have even less time to try to react to the dynamite because I don't know when he's about to throw it. Because he's not even trying right now. Maybe, maybe you have to shoot him while he's like that. And then it'll trigger him to throw it. Yeah, I think that's it. So he should be about to throw it. Hmm. But I don't see what the point is to blowing them up in midair. It doesn't seem to really affect him. Welcome to my domain, kid. And your final resting place. Jesus. Okay, yeah, so if you shoot him enough, he'll throw his own dynamite. 
I don't, I don't, I can't tell if my dynamite actually hurts him. Oh, the, maybe it is the dynamite, the geysers. Hmm. Welcome to my domain, kid. So specific. Cause look at that, that's like, you know he's gonna do that at the start, but it's still like impossible to get them. He's gonna throw them, we know that already. Oh my lord. We got him, but now what? What good does that do? The geysers definitely do react, that's true. Do anything now. Okay, yeah. The geyser, I think you're right. That's so weird though. I'm gonna run out of dynamite though, that's the thing. There's no more dynamite after a while, so. I guess his own dynamite? That is chipping away at his health for sure. Ooh, that did really good damage that time. All right, so that's a good point. I wonder if my uh, Molotovs can also trigger the geysers. Whoops, guess not. Right, so I'm out of dynamite. Is there more around here? Somewhere. Nope, just ammo. Can you shoot the geysers? Doesn't seem to do anything. See, I don't see how he's supposed to get hit by that when he's the one throwing the dynamite. Because you can't really control... I don't know. Unless, like, he's running. Jesus. Okay. Sure. I don't know, sometimes he runs at you after he throws it, and sometimes he just walks backwards. Right here, like, boom, that'll be perfect. Oh, it got me too, though. I mean, guns just don't work on him. Okay. Welcome to my domain, kid. Ah, like you could almost... <sighs> you could almost get him red as they leave his hand, but it's like... The timing is crazy. Dude, don't walk away, walk this way. Different guns on the guys? I don't think so, that would seem kind of redundant to make it be a specific gun. Uh, I have a flame bow, but no, that doesn't. Oh, the flame bow does work. I forgot I had a flame bow. I haven't used it this whole time. Okay, so we have dynamite and then we have some flame bows. Okay, that might just be enough to, to actually pull this off. 
Wow, good on you for suggesting that. Okay, why did it not work that time? Okay, whatever, we got him. I think I'll use the dynamite first. And then I'll use the, uh... Where did he go? Oh, there he is, Jesus. Boom, perfect timing. Okay, now we, Okay, that, that's good. Damn it. We just need to get to where he's walking. <laughs> what have you done to me? Don't worry about it, buddy. really takes your, your health down quick. You even get bow ammo right there too. Yeah, that's like exactly what we needed to use. Alright, I'll probably die this time, but now I know what we're doing here. Wow, that was a complete shot in the dark and it worked. And how's he saying something's not fair when he's using body armor? Oh, I'm out of dynamite. God damn it. Oh, oh I goofed up. He's moving left, okay. I gotta be really, really careful. You have to hit him like spot on with the arrows. That's the only thing. Okay. Welcome to my okay, now we know what we're doing. And your final More or less. I, I goofed that first one though. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. timing this good right now. Oh my god. Oh, that's fine. We'd want to restart anyways at that point. Welcome to my domain, kid. And your final resting place. Where is he? He's moving left. Try this again. Why why does the bow not work most of the time? Welcome to my domain, kid. No. Please. That was a fail. Oh boy. Okay. Welcome to my domain, kid. And your final resting place. Aw, uh, come on. God, I'm getting so bad. I was doing so good that last time, and I'm like hey, missing every shot. Well, let me do this again, because... Oh, damn it. I want to practice real quick with the arrows, because that's what I need. But they don't seem to work most of the time. That's the issue. See that? Oh, maybe it takes a second to go off. That could be what it is. I just thought I was missing it. Okay, he's coming left. Damn, he can just like shoot me like so easily. Okay, 
Okay, did he just decide to start moving right suddenly? You know, I'm just gonna let him kill me so I can start over. Go ahead. Go ahead. Jesus. He's like on fire. Taking no damage. Alright. Welcome to my domain, kid. And your final resting place. Try this again. Are you walking left or right? Back. Okay. It's neither of the things I wanted. There we go. There we go, we're making a little progress now. Oh god. He blew that one up himself. Where are you? Where are you? Okay, there you are. Oh, see, he throws a dynamite like way back, and then it's like it, it hits to the left, and it's like confusing me. Oh lord! Oh no! <sighs> Damn it! I keep panicking because I think he's running at me, and then he's he backs off. Oh uh, no. Okay. Cut from the same cloth, kid. Guns and gunshot. How the hell am I supposed to time that? It's already hard enough for the dynamite. He's going left. There's a geyser. Oh, but then he's coming this way. There we go, right, perfect. Okay, we actually got him with one of the arrows. That's not gonna hit him in time, is it? Maybe that one will? Damn it, they, they, they take so long to react. That's what you have to kind of guess, but then he, by that time he's going the other way. That one ought to do it. If we keep moving, it seems to help. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, <sighs> it's worth it. I, when I'm ducking by something, I can't shoot over the thing I'm ducking under, but he can shoot over it and get to me. It kind of defeats the purpose of ducking behind it. Oh, I actually hit him. All right. Right there. Come on, please, please. Come on. Perfect. I think. Okay, he's getting cocky now. He's getting hit and he's still like, Oh, that's nothing. How is he hitting me? Dude. He's actually getting pretty close. How could this be? Collapse the cavern on Magruder. Dude. 
We're in a different phase now. Okay, what do we need to do here? Do I just shoot? Oh! Maybe that's when we need to shoot the dynamite emitter. Okay, cool. It actually saved us here. Sweet. Yep. That's what we need to do. Go ahead, throw more dynamite. Come on. Switch to the right pool. Seriously? Jesus. Oh, why are they so hard to hit? Maybe I should try to use the rifle to shoot it out of midair. Even though it won't go slow motion, it'll probably be a little easier. If I freaking have any ammo by the time he... Okay. Let's see, is he gonna do it? Oh my god. Ah. I think you just need to do the quick draw. There's like no way you have time for that. Otherwise... There we go. That was like perfect. So it is possible. I hope that counts. It is. Sweet. Damn it. Okay, now we're, we're nailing him. There we go. Okay, come on. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Oh, don't move off. Oh. I was trying to move, run out of the way, and the rock was right next to me. Ah. Oh, no, I'm out of rifle. I guess I'll just have to use this. This zooms in so far, it actually feels like it's harder to try to hit him with. Jesus Christ. I might as well just do this. Okay. Uh, it's annoying when the only way to damage a boss is to do this convoluted method instead of just shooting him. I don't mind it, it's just, it's tricky. Most of the game I've had, com <laughs> I've been completely fine with like aiming and hitting things. But with this, it's really hard. Am 
And then you have to like hit him like a number of times to get him to actually start throwing it too. And if you miss... Okay, there we go. There we go. He's gonna throw more or... There we go. It's funny, you think I would remember how tough this was. I only vaguely remembered this final section. Like, I remembered the location, pretty much. Throw more. Oh, sh okay, we're getting them. We're getting closer. So close to dying right there. Oh no, I'm out of a rifle ammo. Damn it. Is there any ammo around here? I don't know, I don't feel like it's safe to move out of this spot. Ah, oh, Sucks when that up. Oh, there's health over there though. I don't know if I could get to it. So look at that. I can't even I can't even be right here and be safe. So I, I'm not gonna risk running over there. Okay, these can't even reach him, so that was a waste. It's weird how sometimes they can reach and sometimes they can't. Okay. God, this takes so long to reload. Okay, good. Come on, please. It's got to be close to the end here. Oh, he's still not done. Oi, oi ve. I should have probably been being this careful from the start, but like, damn, ah. That is it. Jesus. So I can't run out of here because I'll get killed. I mean, what else do I have? I have the shotgun, but I don't think that's gonna reach him. The bow, maybe, actually, let's see. Barely have any of that either. And he moves around. Now make it any easier. Doesn't look like it's even gonna reach him though. He's not really acting affected by it. Try to be really careful here and not waste <laughs> any. Time to finish this. Oh my god. Okay, so just kill me because I already. You know what? Also, if I could just run and get those, those health bottles. Health bottles. Wait, wait, why do I have full health all of a sudden? I think the game just like threw me a bone without telling me because I definitely did not have a full bottle before. Alright, just kill me. Go ahead. Yeah, no, I think the game, like, secretly gave me more 
like refilled my thing more. Did he already throw it? Okay, not yet. Okay, okay. Yeah, because I only had like two shots of it the first time. Pretty sure. Whoops! And I just wasted one. Because somehow I forgot. Come on, buddy. There we go. There another one. Okay. All right. So there's that. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're doing good. We're saving. We're conserving ammo pretty well. <laughs> they call him One-Eyed Pete. Oh God! Barely caught that. Whoops! He was no longer there. Throw your dynamite. Ah! Throw your dynamite, damn it. Take your dynamite outside. Oh! Oh, he threw the second one early? Oh, did, did anyone see him throw that second batch of dynamite? Because I sure didn't. Jesus. You can't win, boy! Time to finish this. Like, usually he takes a little bit longer than that. Christ. This is, sure is a final boss, I gotta give it that. Okay, why is it sometimes you shoot him like three times and he throws the dynamite and then other times you hit him like, look at this. I've used like 20 plus bullets on him. Why is he not doing it? I think that counted.
Thank god they set me on this part of the boss so I don't have to do the first part over and over again. That would suck. What? I didn't switch weapons. Okay, whatever, just kill me. I didn't hit that. I don't know what caused me to switch to that. Maybe I should just be up in his face, apparently. You know, screw that. Let's see if that works. Just run right up in his this face. Is what you get for trespassing. Time to finish this. Oh my god, how do I miss it so much? <sighs> okay, I don't know what the hell. I almost feel like that's just as effective though. It's like, might as well just run up at him and blast him. Headshotting him over and over. I still don't understand what dictates him to start throwing the dynamite. Because, I don't know, it seems very random. I can, oh my god, it auto locked to him. <sighs> Alright, so once again, it's just like, might as well just take me out. Chris himself said, I'd try peeking from the other side. I mean, I guess I might as well. <laughs> Time to finish this. I'm not going to do that first. His arm sprites were blocking his head. I don't know, I was right locked onto his head. If that's the case, then that's weird. So bizarre that give they give him a hit reaction, but hitting him still doesn't do anything. It's weird. Okay, maybe maybe Christmas off was right. Like the way he was holding his gun, it was blocking his head. Cause that time literally was one shot. Oh, he lowers his arm. You know what? You need to do it when he's reloading, I think. But you it's really hard to peek at him and be safe. Every other enemy in the game, they can't hit you from this type of angle, generally. There we go. Okay. That's actually, I think that's it. Hitting this is still damn hard, though. I don't think the small dynamites are supposed to actually hurt him anyways. Or like, progress towards hurting him, so it's probably okay if I miss those. There, his arms were actually lowered while he was firing. There we go, that was one hit right there. Oh my god, that was like the perfect scroll up and hit. Oh, look at that! I don't know if he just threw more dynamite right now. So much trouble hitting that dynamite, I don't know why.
Like, how is he hitting me right there when I can't even see him? I do not understand that. Duck too, does that help? Not really. Jesus. Maybe I'll be lucky and this is the last one. I doubt it though. So even if I hit it, which I... You can't win, boy. I don't think that counted. It didn't like make any... Ugh. Oh. Damn, this is hard. I don't think peeking from the right particularly helps more or less. It's just... But I'll try to keep in mind the arm hitbox thing. Ah, oh, damn it. See, that doesn't count. I don't think so. Because he laughs. If it works, I think he says something. Like, what are you doing or whatever. If there was like an auto lock onto that, which I know sounds cheap, but it's like they're so hard to hit. And then you can only look so far up. Like, see that? Like, it stops. Yeah, sometimes he just has his arms down. Did that work? Yeah. That time it worked, you could tell. By his reaction. That doesn't count towards it, but at least it's away from me. Once again, we're, we're working towards it. I undid it at the exact wrong time. Please don't blow me up. I could go and run and grab the other bottles now that I, uh, I'm missing some. You know what? Oh, come on. I'll do it right now where he's, when he throws the second round of dynamite. That would be the best time to do it. Can I get him from right here? Mm, that wouldn't. Let's try, let's just see if this spot is any better. I don't think he could hit me from right there. Maybe this is a great spot, let's see. And the dynamite went through the ceiling. Oh look, look but it worked against him. Look at that. Oh my god, the dynamite's bouncing back down. This is like the perfect spot, I think. Holy crap. It's a lot easier to line him up to hit him in the head. He can't hit me very well. Not as easily anyways. I think. There we go, come on. And if I miss this, it looks like it just bounces back down and, and it'll blow up anyways. Let's see. That works too. Oh, we got him. 
That was the freaking sweet spot right there. Knock gun, Magruder 7 barrel siege gun. Wow. I guess that means you could keep playing after you complete the story because I'm this is like the to end. Shoot you in the that would be too kind. Reckon instead I'll take my knife, whittle you some like you did soapy, and then slit your throat like you did Jenny. Or maybe I'll take this cross, and jam it in your good eye, and watch you twitch. None of that'll bring back my mom, and Pa. Or all those villagers you massacred. Nor Ned raised me as his own. Did you hear that? You hear that? So long, Major. Give the devil my regards. Wait. He's gonna die in the, the cavern that he was so obsessed with finding. He's gonna get exactly what he wanted. Yeah, okay, buddy. I don't think so. Oh no. Oof. That's one way to go. my brother. I think they're brothers. I think that's what the flashback implied. Dude, the whole freaking mountain is collapsing. Now our fathers. Yeah, he'll he'll be all right. He ain't going to be in rush hour 3. He ain't going to be in gun 3. He comes back in Gun 2 as Pancake Man. I don't know about that one. That was a pretty epic ending. Like for how short this game's story mode is, it's actually kind of cool. We did it! Oh! The townsfolks are just like, what the hell happened? Okay. So the fact that... At least they put the most like annoying difficult boss as the final boss. It's it's way worse when that's just one of the bosses and then the final boss is a lot easier. Oh <laughs> dragons are 3D. <laughs> but uh we did it. Gun 2 double barreled. That probably would actually be the subtitle. If there was a gun too. This is such a weird ending credits. Like I guess they're just taking out Magruder's men. They both are really bad. Like if I was there right now, they would all be taken out already. And nobody's getting hit. Wow, good old Neversoft. But no, like overall, like this is a pretty cool game. That final boss is just damn. But once you find that sweet spot, that, that definitely helped a lot. It was, uh... It's pretty good overall. Especially because you could tell they probably didn't have like the hugest budget. I mean... It's the team who, who did the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater games doing like a western shooter title. I doubt they were like... They had some like decent voice actors though, like let's see real quick. Uh, Ron Perlman as Hoodoo Brown, that's who it was. Ron Perlman, I knew his voice sounded familiar. I don't straight up recognize uh, some of the other names. But I know that they're they're probably notable voice actors. Apparently the guy who voiced the evil preacher was the voice of Chucky from the Child's Play movies. Oh 
Oh wait, I think they're actually taking the soldiers down very slowly. What a game, fellas. Hey, I gotta appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys for sticking by, cause that final boss fight was pretty tough. Even like the last mission, that was for sure, that was like the hardest mission. I don't think I, I died more anywhere else, so the difficulty curve was pretty proper. The last like hour or so of story, you're kind of like, maybe even a little bit longer, you're, you're kind of like stuck in this forward motion where you're just doing the story for a while. So I guess if anyone's playing this and you want to keep doing side stuff, you know, be careful about heading into that final part. But considering they gave me uh, Magruder's gun, I'm assuming that they're gonna let me keep playing after. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm, I mean, I'm done for the night. Like, I'm, I'm done with the game and everything. But I'm just saying, like, it's good that they let you keep playing after the story's over. That boss fight lasted almost the whole time it took me to make spaghetti. I guess that's, uh, that's indication for a, a tough final boss, then. I mean, it's no Singe the Dragon from Dragon's Lair 3D. Review out now. <laughs> but, uh, that was a pretty tough boss fight. Ain't gonna lie. The video was done by Brass Knuckles. I've never heard of that team. The ratings icon is a registered trademark of the Entertainment Soitware Association? Shouldn't that be software? Soitware? Hmm. Alright. They should have at least like panned the camera around like in the 360 motion as the that final fight was happening. Not my final fight, but the credits. I think that would have made, made it look a little nicer. But anyway, dude, we did it. We took out Magruder, we avenged our pa and our, our, our brothers. And uh, now you're free to just roam around and do all like the side missions and stuff. And you know what? I only paid eight bucks for this game off of eBay for GameCube, eight, eight dollars, it came with the case, the manual, the game, it was in good condition. For eight bucks, I think that was definitely worth it. Got some good enjoyment out of this. So, and I think this game was actually ported to Steam, I found out later. I mean, I was gonna wanna play it on the GameCube either way. Oh, this, I was right, this was the last area you go to. This was like blocked off the whole time. But, uh, anyway, this was some good stuff. Um, I think for my next stream, I'm going to continue my Deadly Premonition playthrough since I just got the game. Finally. Thanks to a, a special sponsor, Chaos Ruler. But anyways, fun stuff, good game. Hard final boss. I give it a 2 out of 10. Just kidding. It's pretty good. But uh, yeah, that's it for tonight. You guys all have a good night. You guys stay safe, stay healthy. Stay good out there. And uh, weekend's almost here. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Jay is a 2 out of 10. Come on, I'm at least a 5. At least a 5. Peace out, guys. <laughs>